Oh my lord. Oh, come on. Oh yeah. Hey. Well, I can't tell you so. Yes, I did. Well, I guess I did welcome back to my youtube channel and welcome to literally my first sit down ever can i just say it's my third time trying to pop on this video guys it's a lot because first of all i'm talking to a camera hey i know i talk alone but with the camera now it's weird because i feel like I don't even know how to explain it to you guys but anyway i do hope that you guys like this video and you guys decide to stick around throughout the whole video um i'm wearing my glasses because i'm gonna need to read down um i've written down some notes in fact i've got two notebooks i don't know where the other one is but anyway i'm gonna use this one for the video um i've written down some notes because i really want to give you guys golden nuggets about my gap year and or why I would do it all over again and i'm just gonna take my glasses off for now let me put them up there for now um because the glaze of the window is a bit much yo guys so story time what happened after my trick my lord i'm literally gonna go straight into the video um this has been something i've been wanting to talk about for literally the longest of time because a lot of people have been asking me questions about my journey and what i did and yo guys there's a lot going on now but bear with me i will try and put like subtitles here so that you guys can see what the tip is but first of all i'm gonna start with sharing my story um hmm, my trick yeah yeah that's what i'm gonna say that that's what i'm gonna say so i get my results and i mean i'm one of those people i'm one of those people where in grade 11 i really had like a rough picture of what i wanted to do like i knew which industry but i couldn't pick like a certain career for sure for him this this is it this is for me like this is the one you know i couldn't decide because i was just like uh don't have to rush you know for a while and um yeah i got a hard reality slap when i got my matric results back in grade 11 i really qualified for the first two things i wanted to do and i think in up you need to choose three options when you apply and i really love my first two options and the third one i kind of just picked it because i had to pick a third one only to get a reality slap that said we're putting you in for your third one and little did i realize that it's a certificate program you know and after i got my matric results my mom's like nah girl just take it and then you're gonna transfer later on and then i decide okay let me just do this course i'll transfer into the one i want later on guys 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 oh that lay in my glasses i put my glasses on because i'm gonna be reading like from my book and stuff but anyway um i take it the course is literally not what i had imagined it to be and also bear in mind that in high school i took business studies um accounting and cat and now i'm doing sports management i'm there and i'm like what is a blood cell like guys i literally hated bio like oh my lord it's not for me so it just didn't make sense for me to take that course another reason why i chose to deregister from that course is simply because one it's a certificate program and you're gonna need a higher qualification in order for you to get like a proper job and by proper job i literally mean being a sports teacher or a LO teacher or working at gyms virgin active and then and even so like you're getting an entry-level job you're not getting a job as like a personal trainer or a fitness trainer you have to further your qualification in in order for you to um you know get proper guap you get 
so i decided that no this is not for me first of all like i'm not i'm lost it's the first two weeks i'm lost guys i wasn't depressed but i kind of got a glimpse of how it feels because i was literally drowning in trying to save this course and to be in university and try and um transfer later only to get a reality step that once you're in that faculty you can never transfer into another faculty and i'm a finance school guys i love numbers i love um i love maths i have a love and hate relationship with maths but i do love it but i love working with money and personal finances that's my thing it's always been a passion of mine and that didn't fit with me staying in the education faculty which would mean i'm being a teacher or i am coaching and i just didn't see myself doing that for like years and years and years and years on end so i had to leave and guys there's nothing wrong with leaving and deciding halfway that you want to change your plans right because initially i did want to take a gap year i just didn't know how to explain that to my parents and honestly speaking now that i did take the gap year and i spoke to them guys it was the best decision i ever made best literally the best decision i've ever made in my life like in terms of my career path literally the best decision ever and i guess i'm gonna go straight into the video and saying that when you get your matric results in fact if you're in grade 11 and you're watching lala i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you baby girl <laughs> sorry guys i watched too much tiktok but anyway if you're in grade 11 and you're watching this video please think long and hard about what you want to do and if you want to take a gap year if it's something you want to consider look there's nothing wrong with taking a gap year you know like there's absolutely nothing wrong with taking a gap year in fact it's one of the best decisions you'll ever make because when you leave high school right guys life after matric is anyway guys before i ramble i'm just gonna go straight into the video i'm gonna give you guys the benefits of taking a gap year i'm gonna give you tips if you're considering taking a gap year and i'm gonna give you a bit of a backstory of what happened with me and i hope you guys don't repeat the same mistakes i did like me taking this video guys i i i actually love the fact that i took a gap year like i i cannot ex i cannot stress this enough i cannot stress this enough and i really hope that it does help you get some clarity and answers most of the questions that you guys did ask me like off day on instagram on whatsapp if you have me on whatsapp um so firstly here's my story now my story is such as guys high school i was just kind of going with the motion i didn't exactly have clear goals like i knew i wanted to go but i didn't write down like clear and set goals right which was one of my biggest downfalls like willily you know that's why we are here like i feel like actually this is a very good example it's like manifesting and then not putting in the work like you're not gonna get anywhere you're not gonna reach any goals i'm telling you guys this for free because i've been there you know i literally was going through a lot in grade 11 matric to a point where i can't even remember like what emotions i was feeling exactly i just know that bengoa bengoa and at that point in time I felt really fatigued right and i couldn't really get much done so fast forward to matric uh matric finals i'm cramming for my last exams and i did really well in the end i got 65 on average let me say on average because i got 270s 265s 160 then my maths mark hmm i didn't put this hmm I didn't put this anyway math is a subject i couldn't cram and hence you know it was not a bad mark it was a pass mark but it was not good enough for certain um you 
university standards, right? Matric, guys, matric goes by so quickly. Yar, yar. These are things you need to think about. Like, please set your goals beginning of your December holiday. Please use your December holiday if you're in grade 11 to sit down and plan what your goals are and how you intend on getting to reaching certain levels. You understand? And what measures you want to take. Guys, sorry about the noise in the background. There's like a lot of construction and things happening. So, hey, my lord. I tried filming in the morning and hang in, hang in, and really, in. Anyway, back to the video. Back to the video. So, guys, please be clear and intentional about what you want to achieve on matric and how you plan on achieving that. If it means extra um, classes and having to make sacrifices here and there, look, it's only for a short period of time. Please do it. Like, invest all your energy in making sure that you're going to get the grade that you want at the end of the day. And also, do not, I repeat, do not overcommit to extracurricular things. If you're doing netball and um, if you're doing netball and you're doing choir and you're doing, hey guys, good morning and we won, nah, you do get exhausted. And I think that's also another thing where I realized that I was overly ambitious. I committed to too, way too many things. And that also took away from my studying time, right? That I could have used to like do proper revision or go to extra classes or to just sit with YouTube, do what I need to do, you know? Please do not overcommit yourself. If you're a prefect, that's enough. That's it, like, you know, that's it. If you're doing netball, stick to that. And if you're not a prefect, but you're doing netball, perfect. Stick and commit to one thing. Yo, guys, I cannot stress this enough. I was fatigued to a point where if somebody were to ask me how my matric year was, besides the whole COVID saga, I really can't tell you guys because I feel like I was just chasing deadline after deadline after deadline. And it was just the thing where I was constantly tired and I just sleep. Sleep, get prepared for the next day sleep study for my test literally two days before and with some subjects i mean i could get away with murder like pachow, pachow, you know but with maths you need time to sit down and practice anyway i've spoken way too much about this fast forward to me getting my matric results um i get in for my second option which was a certificate program and with my third one i got accepted and then later it got withdrawn because I think they didn't realize in matric. So it got withdrawn the offer the offer that I yeah the offer. So my offer got revoked and I was now left with the second option, well the third option in this case, that I didn't think I'd get stuck with. You get because I just took it for the sake of filling space. And I mean, it was something along the lines of what I wanted to do. But when I got there, I realized that mm -mm, I literally have more passion and fire when it comes to numbers, when it comes to maths, when it comes to working with money and all these things. So it just, yo, yo, it just, it was not make sure, guys. It was just, it was not make sure. It was wishy wishy there was a lot going on right um mm -mm. it didn't work out the way i wanted to two weeks in literally i was there and my mental health started plummeting it didn't even go it went straight because i was like guys i was drowning i was trying to balance like and i was also trying to keep up with the fact that Things move so fast in varsity, there's literally no time to. Okay, let me just, you know. Guys, there's no time. There's no time. So, fast forward, I made the decision two weeks later to de register from the course that I took, which was sports management. It was a certificate program. And basically, the cons outweighed the pros. And I kind of decided that, mm -mm, girl, rather just go rewrite your math your math exam there's nothing wrong with that go get the help you need rewrite get a bit of mark 
because that's the only um puzzle piece that was missing for me to get into the finance degree that i wanted to get into so in the end two weeks later after my health was i decided let me just leave deregister and register now to go rewrite my math now guys it's always a good idea to go rewrite with the high school that you came from now if you're gonna try body college leading in, 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 in if you feel that you need the extra classes and to go and attend for you to understand things better sure go ahead go the route of signing up with a college and committing to going to classes every day you're committing to doing um all the homework that they give you you're committing to all these things right but in my case it was kind of a little too late because in those two weeks where i was in university so just to give you guys a backstory um matric i was really going through the most like besides the whole COVID saga emotionally i was just absent and i was just doing things for the sake of getting them done and fast forward to matric final exams i had studied and i had prepared and with most of my exams i could cram like you know i could really get a lot of information in especially because my exams were nicely spaced out but i would not recommend that for anybody because after that the fatigue guys you don't even want to read a meme like i'll go on twitter i couldn't even read a full sentence because mentally i was tired i was i was just finished guys oh my lord take it from me please do not cram prepare well enough i mean i did prepare but obviously you put in those last minute extra hours because you're like i could pull this off anyway just to give you guys um an idea anyway just to give you guys an idea of how my final results looked my average i think was 65 66 and honestly speaking i have myself to blame for that because guys i overcommitted myself in the trick to too many things i had a business going i was a prefect i was head of a few um activities at school um i was doing gigs in between like photography and everything it was just too much and honestly speaking i'm not mad about my my matric exam results so i say that right hey guys there's a lot going on i'm not mad about my matric results because at the end of the day i gave it my best i did prepare it was just not enough and i would not recommend coming to anybody because it will leave you fatigued please don't do it it's not the way to go my sister my brother don't do it don't don't fast forward again again um we get our matric results and honestly speaking i'm happy that my average is 60 something but i am disappointed because that means the bursary that i wanted that's just not an option anymore okay now we're waiting for universities to respond now guys this is where your mental health starts going or it can go you know it can go either way at this point in time right but for me i will definitely say that it was just here it was not it was not you know i did get university offers but i wasn't looking to go very far so i was limited to up right because i had a business to think about i had logistics to think about at this point i didn't have a bursary anymore so that means i'm staying at home i'm going to be traveling to school every day and i mean up is like right next door to my high school so it really wasn't a train smash but i didn't get accepted for my first offer now i'm heartbroken i am really heartbroken because i'm thinking oh my lord what am i gonna do you know and honestly speaking it wasn't a train smash because i did get two you no know? yes two offers so the other one got revoked obviously at a later stage because of my math mark and then the second one 
it was my third option and honestly speaking i took it because i thought it would be like a fun job and everything i didn't think of the paperwork and the admin behind taking that course right so little did i know that my third option was actually a certificate program and that i'd have to do another program in order for me to get a proper job and i was like mm -hmm. I was already dreading it you know and that was downfall number one downfall number two definitely has to be the fact that once i was in this faculty i couldn't move to any other faculty and the idea of being caged into one faculty and not the one that i wanted it didn't sit right with me like i had sleepless nights now i'm fighting with my emotions i'm fighting with my logic i'm actually fighting like it's a battlefield my heart is saying thank you lord we made it we are in the other part of the other side of my of my logic is saying baby girl are you sure are you sure this is what you want to do like if you do it you do realize that you're going to be having um a module that entails um bio biochemistry and first of all my lord me bio amans in the oil guys we don't mix now i'm thinking okay i mean it's just one small sacrifice let's just do it you're in university guys no my mental health went from to it didn't even curve nothing it just went you get me like wait guys a lot happened in the duration of two weeks right so first of all i decided that i am going to university because i really didn't want to sit at home and do nothing but after looking at my mental health and what university required of me i just realized that i wasn't ready for the step that i had taken maybe physically i was hyped up and i was ready but mentally i just had not wrapped my head around the whole idea of taking the certificate program and then later doing another one and then also doing bio on top of that hey guys it was just a lot so in the end i decided to deregister and that's where i started my journey of rewriting my math exam which was the only exam that was holding me back at this point like i knew that if i went back and wrote my math exam and i got I don't even know if I want to disclose my marks. That's how embarrassed I am, guys. You, um, if I got at least, let me say 60, because my first mark was definitely not in the 60s, which was bad, because I was like, what happened? What ha what happened? Like, okay, not pa paper one. Yeah, paper one went really well. Paper two. Whew. Guys, and when you average out those papers together. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad guys it was so bad like you but anyway um i decided to write my math exam again and i opted to write in june and not in december because i was like if i'm going to take a gap year i might as well make the most of it you know so i went on the journey of writing my math exam this is now mid-march right mid-march 2021 i decided that i'm going to write my math exam only to find out the exam is on June the second was it the second or third can't remember but it was definitely in the first week of June it's March let's say mid-March right you've got now two weeks left of March then April May getting first week of June Wangwala. yo guys I mean I still thought that I could do it I really I really had you know I had the stamina going and honestly speaking, I did it. I wrote my exam in June and it went really well. Like, it went really well for me. I'm not gonna lie. Like, for me to sit down and shoot this video, it went well. Not as well as I would have anticipated. But then again, I'll go into detail why it didn't go as well as I wanted. And by as well as I wanted, I meant that I was aiming to get at least 70s and above. And honestly speaking, looking at the time frame I had, and the fact that I was doing it alone, Gil, it was a bit ambitious, you know? It was, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot because, first of all, you're doing this alone. Guys, please be mindful when you guys make this decision to go rewrite. 
please be mindful of the route you want to take now there's two options um i went with the first option of rewriting with um this the high school i previously went to and you basically go you register to go and rewrite with them and then they give you the venue if if not you're gonna basically go and rewrite your matric exam at your previous school so with my school i couldn't go rewrite there because they were doing some sort of construction so in the end they looked for a venue and people that were in my high school and other high schools we were all put in one big venue and we went to go write our final um june but basically your final math exam again of my trick in that venue right cool that's the first option that you have i think it works really really nice if you have um how can i put it i don't know how to put it guys but basically writing with your previous um school just cuts a lot of admin for you because they do most of the things for you the only thing you're gonna have to do is follow up later on once you write your exam and also follow up before yeah i think two weeks before you write your exam you need to follow up and ask them where your final venue is and for you to confirm and also i would advise for you to go and see the venue before you go on the day because it's easy for you to arrive late it's easy for you to lose track of time or for you to get lost or there's a car accident guys so many things could go wrong on the day when you go write your exam so i definitely would advise for you to go there prepared um if you're going to be choosing this option now the second option you have is to go to town so if you're in Gauteng, pretoria um i would definitely recommend for you to go to town and there's so many colleges there guys you just need to check which one um allows you to rewrite your matric and so basically when you sign up with a college you are committing to the fact that you are going to be doing classes with them you are going to be doing the homework that they give you you're going to be rewriting at their facility and that they're going to do most of the admin for you so you kind of just want to decide which one you want to take i went for this route because i felt like i could do most of the things alone especially because i knew sorry i knew that i needed to focus on paper two more than paper one paper one i was i was fine i was the girl you get me okay guys it's really not that hard paper two that's where my struggles were oh my lord yeah <laughs> so it guys made me more feel that's paper too like it literally made me go on mojoloka bona everything get bona hey guys mad paper too ha it was worse it was very bad 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 you know so i felt like with youtube and getting a tutor i'd be good right because that's what i wanted like to get one-on-one -on -one specific attention whereas if you're going to go to a college you are going to be in a class setup and you're basically going to be committing to going to classes every single day now the reason why i didn't choose that option is because i really wanted to maximize my time and by that i mean that i wanted to do so many things with my gap year right so one of the things i wanted to do was get my license and get first of all get my learners let's not skip steps get my learners then learn how to drive and get my learners i mean my drivers right all in one year it's doable it's honestly doable but yeah so you are faced with those two decisions after you get your matric results now i'm gonna be giving you guys tips and hopefully they will build on to answer all the questions that i've been asked on instagram on whatsapp and just in person like when i bump into people i really hope that they do help you guys and that you guys make the best suitable decision for you you understand so i'm gonna go straight into the tips i'm gonna be looking down every now and then i'm also okay i can't find my glasses oh never mind <laughs> Guys, it's transparent, so you blend a little bit sometimes. Or maybe I'm just blind, I don't know. But 
I'm gonna put on my glasses, read for you guys, and give you a few tips. And I'm also gonna give you guys after the tips, I'm gonna give you guys the benefits of a gap year, of taking a gap year. Like guys, I won't lie, this was like the best decision I've ever taken for me. Like forget my tobatari how why to hella university if it's a yini. Like forget all those chats, please block. You know? Please block. Like this is between you and your career. Like guys, once you decide that you're going to university, it's going to be a lifetime commitment and you need to be very sure that this is what you want to do. You know, because there's going to be a lot of expenses involved. You don't want to waste your own time, your parents' money and resources because if you're going to be going into university then transferring or dropping out and then transferring or it just looks really bad and if you want to go to another university they're going to be like um remote i don't sure because first of all why did you take so many turns you know so that's why you need to be very sure and very clear about the decision that you are making with your career please